Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I am going to talk about what is loss ratio when it comes to insurance companies. So when you take any insurance company to determine if the insurance company is financially strong or not, we use this metric loss ratio. So let's see how you use this metric to determine if an insurance company is financially strong or not. So the way we calculate loss ratio is the total paid amount in claims for a particular year. Say if I have an insurance company, ABC insurance company, what is the overall amount that they have paid in a particular year to the insured or claimant? So that is taken into account plus any loss adjustment expenses. When I say loss adjustment expenses, any expenses specific to claims processing like if you want to process your claim, the amount that you pay to your adjuster, adjusters are the one who goes to the accident location and reviews the claim or if there are any attorney involved with a specific claim, any claim specific expenses. So you sum up the total amount that we paid in claims plus any expenses specific to the claims processing and then divide that by earned premium. So what is earned premium? Say I have a customer who have a personal auto policy. So his overall premium is $1000 and his payment plan is annual payment plan which means he is paying the entire premium upfront and the policy is effective from January 1st 2022 and it expires on December 31st 2022. It's a one year policy. Now even though the customer is paying the full amount as of January 1st 2022 we don't take that as earned premium, it's unearned premium because the coverage is not yet given. Assume the customer cancels the policy as of Jan 1st 2022, we have to refund the money, right? So the earned premium is calculated in such a way that in our example, if I have a policy which is effective from January 1st 2022 to December 31st 2022 and the overall premium is $1000, as of June 1st when I cross my 6 month of term, we say earned premium is 500 because I have given required coverage and whatever the term that I have given coverage for that premium alone we consider as earned premium. So the way we calculate loss ratio is total amount that we paid in claims for the entire year plus any loss adjustment expense divided by earned premium. So if you take an example if I am just taking a plain simple example, if you would have paid uh, overall $500 per year for the particular insurance company and if the loss adjustment expenses, any you know, claim handling fees or anything, it comes to $50 and the overall earned premium is $1000. Now what you do as per this formula, you sum up 500 plus 50 which comes to 550 divided by the earned premium which is 1000 and then it comes to 0 0.55 into 100. So your loss ratio is 55 percentage which means your insurance company is profitable, right? Because the total amount that you are paying in claims plus any additional expenses is less than the earned premium. If this calculation results in more than 100 percent, which means your insurance is not financially strong. That's the reason why a lot of people, when you get an insurance policy, they would have said you, look at the loss ratio of the insurance company and then buy a policy. Or if you're joining an insurance company, they may say, why don't you review their loss ratio? So it's very important that we understand what is loss ratio going forward. If somebody says the, to you that, what is the loss ratio for an insurance company? You have to understand the way we calculate loss ratio is the total amount that we pay for a particular claims in the year plus any expenses specific to the claim divided by earned premium. As I told you, earned premium is nothing but the premium that I earn in a particular year. If I issue a policy on January 1st, 2022, I have unearned premium. If I cross six months of the term and if the policy premium is $1000, the earned premium is $500. I hope you like my training videos. If you like my training videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.